morning guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a video on uh, I've got the little amber light up on the dash um, I've ordered the par off eBay um, got it for like 4.99 um, I think Formula 1 was going to charge me 70 quid just to fit the uh, two sensors because there's one on the rear driver's side and the front near side so you only need two sensors um, but it's literally a 20 minute job if that so uh, rather than paying 70 quid I thought I'd do it myself so um, this is what you're going to have on your dash you're going to have that displayed brake wear sensor um, or brake wear uh, on the car but obviously I've just had new ones put on as you can see new discs and you can see new pads in there so uh, there is the sensor so uh, I'm going to jack the car up take the wheel off and then show you where it is from now. So this is your rear brake pad sensor um, and this is the route it's going to take. It's going to go from inside there Then you've got a little uh, popper thing there, like a grease nipple type thing. So thread through there, come into this bit, trail down behind, following this other one, coming down through there underneath and then you go along a little bit and then up here there's a plug where my finger is well, I've obviously removed the other one so I'm going to plug it into there so that's the route you take um, so I'm going to do that see the plastic housing up there uh, that's where the, the body gets tucked into and plugged in uh, and then you just route round uh, putting these little clips down and feeding the cable into it uh, going through up onto the top so you come through there just lift up these little clips and tuck the wire under as you can see going round and then you come round to the side here and you literally just push fit the uh, the metal piece on probably have to use a pair of pliers just to get that in there and there you go just push fits to the side so uh, that's now in place and that's how you fit your uh, rear rear pad sensor uh, so it's to save like 35 quid for 10 minutes okay now we're going to do the front sensors so uh, again we go through the side of the caliper there's a little cut out in there a bit of little indent sort of arced just above my finger so a clip in there trail around the back on the top just get a nice route for it See near this cable, gonna follow a similar path, come round to the back there, and then you've got your plastic box just there. So I'll open that up. Oh, I can't do it one end. So I'll open it up and then you'll see the plug in now. Um, plug this in and away we go. So there you go, you can see it pushed in there. Uh, you'll feel it sort of click when it goes in. Um, and then some of them have these little bits just push fit on that little nipple there and you've got a little cap push that on trail it up and there you can see a little housing box there there's a couple of little clips there's that just to secure it in place one at the top there plug it in make sure it's nice and tight and then you can just shut your little door getting that a click uh, before you put your uh, wheel on, it's probably worth checking, check on the dash. Okay, there we go, so the um, sensor light's now off, or the brake wear light, the, uh, that's gone off now, so uh, happy days. All a success, looks like the oil pressure sensor's next, so uh, that'll be one of the next videos coming up. Okay, thanks for watching.